In ancient Greece, there was a group of winged gods known as the Erodes. They were associated with love and sexual intercourse, and often accompanied Aphrodite. The name, Erodes, was derived from their complex deity Eros. Apart from Eros, there were also other named Erodes such as Anteros, Hedologos, Hermaphroditus, Himeros, Hymenaeos, and Pothos. Each of them had their distinct mythology and attributes. They were a popular motif in Hellenistic art, while Roman art often depicted them as multiple cupids or alongside Psyche. In later Western art, they were often indistinguishable from figures also known as cupids, Amorini, or Amoretti. The Erodes were considered to play a significant role in matters of love and desire. They often used their divine powers to bestow passion upon humans and sometimes even interfered in mortal relationships. Their presence was a reminder of the importance of love and desire in Greek mythology and continues to be a prominent theme in art and literature today. Once upon a time, in ancient Greece, there were a group of winged gods called the Erodes, who personified love and sexual desire. They were a part of Aphrodite's entourage and were associated with various aspects of love, including same-sex desire. In Hellenistic culture, people loved to share stories about the Erodes' mischief or pranks. Some even used spells to attract or repel them to either induce love or the opposite. The Erodes were usually depicted as nude, handsome, winged youths in ancient Greece. Interestingly, the earliest sculptured friezes that featured a group of Erodes and winged maidens driving chariots drawn by goats were created to decorate theaters during the 2nd century BCE. Art historians have interpreted non-sexual images featuring two women as suggesting a homoerotic subtext. Furthermore, the presence of Erodes in hunting scenes and their role in the classical mythological pantheon suggests a purely symbolic representation. In the cult of Aphrodite in Anatolia, iconographic images of the goddess with three Erodes symbolize the three domains over which she held dominion, the earth, sky and water. The Erodes were an intriguing group of characters who added depth and interest to classical mythology. Their representation and symbolism continue to inspire artists and historians today. Antaros, the god of requited love, was a formidable figure in ancient Greek mythology. He was known for his ability to punish those who rejected the advances of others, and for his unwavering commitment to ensuring that those who spurned the love of others were brought to justice. Antaros was the son of Ares and Aphrodite, and he was given to his brother Eros as a companion because Eros was lonely. The brothers were inseparable, and together they were a powerful force in the realm of love and desire. Interestingly, there is another version of Antaros' story that holds a fascinating detail. According to this version, Antaros was not the son of Ares and Aphrodite, but rather the offspring of mutual attraction between Poseidon and Nereides. In his physical appearance, Antaros bore a striking resemblance to Eros, with one key difference, sometimes, he sported longer hair and butterfly wings. His weapons were also a curious aspect of his mythology. Depending on the depiction, he was said to wield either a golden club or arrows of lead. Despite his fearsome reputation, Antaros was also a symbol of love and affection that was returned in equal measure. His presence in ancient mythology served as a reminder that love should always be mutual and that those who spurn the love of others would ultimately face the wrath of the gods. Once upon a time, Eros was revered and worshipped as a powerful deity. He was known as the original god of love and fertility, and in Roman mythology, he went by the name of Cupid. Later myths considered him as the son of the deities Ares and Aphrodite and referred to him as one of the Erodes. Eros was not only associated with love but also with athleticism. The statues erected in gymnasia showcased his love for sports. He was even regarded as the protector of homosexual love between men. Eros was often depicted carrying a lyre or a bow and arrow, accompanied by dolphins, flutes, roosters, roses, and torches. These objects represented his different aspects, such as love, music, courage, and beauty. 
One day, Eros was approached by a young man named Alex, who was deeply in love but was unable to express his feelings to his crush. Eros saw the sincerity in Alex's eyes and decided to help him out. He fired an arrow of love, and Alex finally professed his love to his crush. From that day onwards, Alex and his crush were inseparable, and they always attributed their love to the mysterious powers of Eros. The legend of Eros' magical powers of love survived for generations, and people still pray to him for help in their romantic endeavors.